welcome back to the gaming lads and today we are playing the defender um, or the object 252 because this is just a reskinned version of it for the equipment you definitely want a large caliber gun rammer and an and a aiming time benefiter is what I'm going to call it so either the gun laying drive or the vertical stabilizer depending on your preference I mean you could always add some coated optics if you want to increase your view range but at the moment I don't really feel like I need it and yeah that's the equipment Duke Club Pass top tier looking pretty good I'll be going down this way. Pretty easy. Let's get it done. Enemies in the area. Go. Take them all out or take their place. Let's do this. Go away. Main 
Russian accuracy. Target's locked. Locked and loaded. There we go. 4.30 in the arse for the P-44 Panteria. Ready to fire.2,200 damage, 280 assisted, 2,185 blocked. F very good amount of damage. High caliber medal as well. Round it off. There we go. Number two. Three kills. Top of the team, where the defender belongs. If we go into the modules tab now, this and the standard shell damage is 470, which is very high for this tiered tank, and a near penetration of 186, which is alright. A reload time standard of 15.5 seconds, so quite a long time, so that's why you want to put on that rammer and it goes down to about 13 seconds. And the total hit points is at 150, what, no, 1,050. Max speed of 35 kilometers an hour, so it's, it's fast, but not that fast, if you know what I mean. With an engine power of 700 horsepower, and concealment of 0.14, and on the move is 0.08, so not very great. Uh... A view range of 350 and a signal range of 730. So the view range you might want to buff, but 
It depends on your play style. So yeah, it has a power to weight ratio of 13.5 now, 59 horsepower per ton, and a top reverse speed of 14 kilometers an hour, and a fire chance of 15 percent. I've already said the top forward speed of 35 kilometers an hour. The aiming time on this gun is 3.4 seconds, so very long. And accuracy at 100 meters is 0.47 meters. The max range is 720 meters, and the elevation of 20 degrees and depression of 6 degrees, so pretty standard for a Russian tank, which is because of its very sl thin turret, so it actually can't go up very high because of the breach. And a rotation speed of 28 degrees a second, probably could do with a little boost, but it's not that bad. Um, a terrain resistance of 1.2, 1.5, and 2.3. Turret has a rotation speed of 24 degrees a second. Signal range of 730 meters, and it has hate, and it has AP, APCR, and HE shells. And then I've got my KV3 crew. So then, let's get into into some gameplay. So then we're back in the Armad Piercer app on my phone. I hopefully I'll remember to link what is actually called in the description. I think it's available on iOS, but I've got it on my Android phone. This is currently the armor model piercer for the defender. Well, shooting at the defender. So as you can see, frontally, on when it's looking straight at you, it has no different you can't really penetrate it in the front except for these little cupolas at the top. Um, and say we angle it a bit. But basically it weakens it but it's still very hard to penetrate. And it, so that's what you want to do if you can see someone looking at your lower plate. Because it makes it a lot thicker. But not too much this bit all goes green. You want a fine balance like that. Um, so yeah, that's the defender looking at the defender. Oh god. Um, say we um, look at the Super Conqueror now. This would be the Super Conqueror penetrating it. So as you can tell now, frontally on, it it will penetrate that lower plate very easily, but the top still blocks a lot. So again, if you see someone looking at your lower plate, you want to angle it slightly and then he's going to have no chance. Bear in mind, that's a Super Conqueror, so a tier 10 tank. Um, again, you need to make keep on wiggling around like this when you're driving. Not quite that aggressive, I don't think you can do that. But, if you keep on wiggling around like this, the, the tanks are going to struggle to hit your cupolas. So you want to keep on jiggling around. Hello, and this is a replay of me and the Defender in Abbey, which I recorded, like, um, last week. Um... Yeah, this is a pretty good game. I, I'm still trying to get used to the replay mechanics things here. So yeah, that was what that was all about. Um, so yeah, I'm on Abbey. I go down the usual spot. Yeah, down there. And yeah, me and this Patriot kind of dominate the that side. It's a very good game. Well, I say very good. It's quite good for my for me. Um, yeah, I've successfully finished Valor now, I've got all the tanks, I've got the TD tank, that was the Never Forgotten tank, that was quite good, oh, yeah, so then, I wish there was just an option for you to do on this where you could just follow exactly how I, I was looking at it, but there isn't, that's what I was checking out before, so then, I'm gonna go up onto the right hand side road I usually go up there now where that medium tank is um, right up there the object no that's the Konza Panzer 50T whatever it's called still don't really know its name <laughs> but pronounce it um, so yeah drive around yeah that tanks actually very good now I've got it it's very good hold down very strong armor. I'll sure to be do a video on that. Snapshot into the STA one, but can't connect. Right then, have a little aim in. You can, so you can look down where the barrel was looking. 
And then, can I get you on the second shot? Yep. Bang in there for about 400 damage. Me and this Patriot kept on shooting this, the tank at the exact same time. Quite funny. But, for some reason it doesn't show you how much damage I was doing live, so you'll have to try and count. I'll show you at the end, but... Yeah. Again, another 400 damage hit. That's about 800 damage now. And... Try it. We're gonna try and see what the they spotted what us. the German tank is made of at the moment. See what he's trying to do down there. But he seems to just be like peeking down there at the moment. Now we've got the stockade. He's not really showing me the weak spot because he's like angled upwards, and he's not showing me his hole. So I'm thinking, oh, got it. got his track somehow, but um. Yeah, right there. Focus on this Can I get camera. the... They're looking at us. He's Marco Polo. I don't know. Because you can see what the other team are saying as well on the replay, which I find quite funny. As well. So that. Just kind of rocking around at the moment. Waiting for someone else. Shoot. I think someone's re requesting for on the Patriot, actually. <laughs> on the enemy team. Right then. Yeah, so you can see him asking for help, that guy. Right then. See ya. The low's coming in now. Patriot's still here. I think his name's Patriot. It might be. It's either the Freedom or the Patriot. Can I get a shot into the German tank? Patriot moves. Right. Oh, yeah. Just ducked below in time. Now then, we're going to push forward, and there's a big group of them here. Tier 8. I forgot to mention, this is a Tier 9 battle as well. Um, so there. Yeah. Object 257. Bam. Into him. We still have the stockade and then the Su-130 PM as well. I, get, I, I was thinking about going for that top bit, but um, if you've got the hull, just go for the hull. It's a bigger area for you to hit, especially if you don't have very good accuracy. Um, so yeah, I go into the hull of the stockade. I think the stockade's gone, or is that the Su? I don't know. Well, there's the Su. Something has dropped dead now. So that. Now that's the stockade right there. Um, having a look. Not. Don't think I had very much gun depression. Oh no, I did. Straight into the hole. There we go. Again, I was thinking about going for that top bit, but he was moving around a bit too much. Just go straight into that weak hole armor. They spotted us. So yeah, this tank is pretty good penetration as a defender. And we've got a kill into the Sioux. Always, always try and take out an opponent if you can. Because once they're out of the game they can't deal damage to you and then you then you can help the other people. Well they can't help the other people. Something like that. You know? Always go for the kill if you can kill. Like that, there we go. Stockades out of here as well. Now then, my next target is the object 257. Reloading, I'd imagine. Yeah, I mean, we're down to th our last three tanks. Bam, into the side of the object. And now I'm pushing forward with the STI, I think he is. I think he's the STI. Yeah, STI. Um, so then. Jag Tiger. Or is it Jag Panther? Oh yeah, it's Jag Panther 2. Um, might actually get around him. And now I've realised, oh god, we're about to get surrounded. The Shredder, Sheridan, or whatever his face is. Actually, I think that's the tier 9 the Sheridan. Actually, the tier 9 game. But, whatever that is. So I'm up to my fourth kill now. I'm trying to get him, and I'm like, 
Well, he's managed to circle me, and that's where my poor gun tra traverse is coming in. And now I see a shot into E75, and he's gone as well. And now it's just delaying in the inevitable. How however good this guy, the objects, well, the defender's armor is, it's never going to be. It's, it can't handle being in with everyone else, and we and the base got captured as well. Once it's surrounded, it's over. So then, let's see the medals as it loads up. So yeah, we lost, which has a big impact on the amount of XP you earn. So yeah, Master Gunner, Duelist, Reaper, Fighter for getting the five kills, Fire for Effects, and I only got a number three, and that must be because I didn't win, because that was. Because the previous replay, um, I got, well, I was top again, but I got a number two for less damage and less kills. So then, I hope you enjoyed this video today, and you now know more about the Defender. Um, overall, it's a great tank, great armor, massive gun. The only problem is with it, um, bad Russian accuracy, but... Yeah, that's what you get with most Russian tanks. So, if you want a tier 8 Russian heavy tank, go for this one. Or, if you don't want to spend as much money for the premium name, the skin on it, go buy the Object 252U. It's the same tank, but for slightly cheaper, and just not called a Defender. Um, so yeah, that's it. Make sure you smash the like button and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.